video, we're going to work with the estimate focal node. We're going to use the tools within that node in order to estimate the proper focal length since we don't have that information offhand. We're also going to work with the image enhancement node in order to change the colors of the footage so the trackers will stick better. So let's see how to do that. So I'm going to my create area and I'm going to take under the utilities, I have the estimate focal. So I'm going to take this, drop it over here, and it should connect automatically. We're going to turn off the ground for now because the ground is almost similar to the color of the ground in the footage. So let's turn off the Z, let's stay with the X, and we'll take this line over here, and then this line right over here. And I'm going to take this line, pose it here, and right there. So we get the vanishing point of the X. Now let's turn off the X, turn out the Y, and the Y can go in here on this post and on this window seal right there. The next step would be to actually start tracking. Before we're going to start tracking, it is probably important for try to enhance some of the features here so we'll have enough information that will cause the trackers to stick. So one of the tools that we can use is the image manipulation. And if we take the image manipulation and we drop it here, then this will allow us to work with the color prior to the tracking process. So I'm going to click on the curves and I'm going to click on the curve. And I'll try to see if I can get a little bit more of contrast here. Not much. I'm going to click on the curve again to try to brighten up some areas. And I can also activate the filters in which I can try to either remove noise or sharpen some of the image by sharpening the radius on the red, green, and blue. Now with the blur radius, as well as the sharpen radius, you will have the option to use the same kind of value on all three channels. And that is because by default the gang is checked. So I'm going to turn off the check mark on the gang and I'm going to lower the red and green blurriness on the channels here to zero, but I'm going to keep the blue on 0.4. Let's actually increase it to about 0.7. And at the same time, I'm also going to try to remove some of the noise from the blue by adding a bit of percentage. So if I now look at the blue channel, I see that the blue channel is still a bit noisy, but the amount of noise is not as bad as we just saw. We can definitely go and start tracking the footage. So the image enhancement node allowed us to change the colors of the footage. That will cause the 2D trackers to stick better. And we also saw how to use the estimate focal in order to get the proper focal length. Next, it's time for tracking. So let's jump ahead to the next video and do that.